Hello and welcome back to Pattern Making with Let Morris. We're still on the journey making the pattern for this um, beautiful dress. Um, we're now going to be doing this sleeve and we're going to just go on to the collar as soon as we finish the sleeve. So welcome back again, whether you're watching for the first time or you've been always watching. Thanks for watching. And once again, don't forget to comment, to share and to subscribe and um, let us know how you're getting on. So here we go. We're going to um, start off with the sleeve block. We've marked out the block and this is what we've got here. So once we've marked out the block for the sleeve, this is just a, um, a straight sleeve, as we can see. But I've got um, an opening at the over the the sleeve uh, there won't be a seam but it's just an opening and I'm just going to show you how you do that that is just a normal straight sleeve so it's a block which is straight which we've marked out here and all we're going to do is just add the seam allowance around around the head of the sleeve and along the the um the side so once again it's just a centimeter so if I just mark it on and on both sides let's um, get a nice line on on here and then we're just going to add the seam allowance on it like this centimeter and then we're going to add centimeter around the head of the sleeve like that just mark it on you measure it and mark it on like that all the way around the back and the front and we've already got our, um, our balance mark in. We know that sleeve fits in our block with ease. It's got a bit of an ease on the head of the sleeve. But we still check it to make sure we're happy with it before we actually um, cut it out. So once we've got the seam allowance on it, we're going to just add the seam on the bottom as well. We only need a centimeter on here um, again. And this is the center of the sleeve here. We're gonna use that as, as the grain line as well. And that's where I want my slit to be on the, the bottom of the sleeve. So I'm gonna take my slit up about six inches. And then I'm going to measure up six inches that's my slit on there and I've put a mark along there and all I'm going to do I'm going to slit up to about a quarter of an inch below the split along there and then I'm going to make a facing around there like that for that so that is my sleeve so I'm going to cut two of those and that is the sleeve And that's my that's where it's going to finish. But I'm going to put my slit to there and then I'm going to make the facing. So I'm just going to cut that out and I'm going to copy around this area here to make my facing because it's going to be faced out. So if I cut along, take that all out, my seam, cut on my seam lines. So I cut out my sleeve around the head of the sleeve. And I've already got my balance mark in. So we're nearly there. And down this, the sides for my, um, my seam. And I'm going to cut along the bottom. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to, on another sheet of paper, if you get a fresh sheet of paper, once we've cut that out, we're going to um, make the facing for the sleeve. So on another sheet of paper, all we do is we just mark around the bottom of the sleeve along there. And we're going to slit up that line up to the first mark like that. And then we're going to place that back on this, the line that we've just drawn. And then we're going to flip that over and we're just going to mark on there, put a mark and we're going to connect the line up 
like that. I'm going to mark up to here. So if we put that back onto there and we can transfer the second line as well on there with our um, prick stick, not prick stick, our prodder, but we'll use the, the, um, we'll use that line. So basically what we're doing is we're just going to make a facing. So we make it about um, an inch and a half facing either side. And we're going to take that up. Um, so it's the same. We just draw a line up like that. And we draw another line up. So it's parallel to that one that we've, we've um, thing. And all I'm going to do is just, I'm going to, so if you notice, this is where, let's just put a mark where we're going to finish. That's where we the finish line is. So if we touch it there and we've got, we, we're going to slit up to that one, but that's where we finish. So above the finish line, if we go up about an inch, inch and a half or inch and a quarter even. And then all we do is we just shape a, a, a line around like that. Just give it a shape. Around. We can take it straight across if you want, a square line, but I'm just going to shape mine round a little bit like that. So this is now your facing. And we're going to cut two of those. And that is the facing for the sleeve. And all we do is just bag out that um, piece of facing onto our sleeve. So we cut up there and we cut up here and we're going to go across there. You can make it straight as well as you can curve it. So it's like that. So that is your facing piece and we're going to slit up to the first slit there and I'm going to take that around. Or, as I said, you can make it straight across. It's up to you. So that is my facing. So that is stitched onto there. It's stitched onto there like that, up to that first, the first mark. And then we come down along there, quarter of an inch. So we go up like that into a point, like that, a quarter, 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 into that point there. And then we come back down down to a quarter of an inch. So that's how we stitch that. And then it's turned back onto that back part here. And it's basically is bagged, what you call bagged out. So that's left open there after we then join the sides, the underarm seam or the side seam together. And that's left loose. And then all we do is we just top stitch it along there to hold the facing back. Along there, we can come above above it a bit into a square, or we can come to a point and then back down and then come all the way to give it a nice design feature by stitching it. So the facing will be held underneath and that will be opened out. Okay, so that is your facing for your sleeve. So how, that is how that is done. And we leave that and that will have that opening for your sleeve along there like that. And you've got your facing underneath, which is that piece. And then your sleeve will set into your armhole and it's just a normal straight sleeve. So that is the section for your sleeve for that dress. So the next thing we have to do is to create the collar. Now the collar is like a shawl collar going down to the the back so we're going to have a seam on the shoulder we're going to have a seam on the shoulder of this um, collar you don't have to if you don't want to if you've got enough fabric you can cut it all in one without a seam but I'm going to do this with a seam and I will put post a picture of it um, um, when I do post the video for how to make the pattern for this style so on another sheet of paper, what we do is I'm going to fold it 
because I want it to be a nice hollow that rolls over. So I'm going to do that on the fold like that. And I'm going to make that, I'm going to measure, make that four inches. So if I square a line out from here, and I'm going to make that, um, the, the width of that collar, I'm going to make it um, four inches. So if I measure up four inches here and about here, four inches, and I'm going to draw a line. So it's a rectangle on your paper um, like that. And on there, I'm going to put a quarter of an inch seam allowance on here on the top of it and I'm going to put a quarter of an inch on this section here for joining the back section so um, what you have to do is to measure your neckline to, to achieve your collar so whatever the neckline is you've got your side and you've got your center front and you overlap the seam like you've stitched it and then you measure around the neck edge here so whatever that neck edge is you've got to that's only a half of it so you've got to make it double so whatever that is say for example if that was five you've got to make it ten so you've got to measure from there out there and half of uh, for example if it's ten this is just the example but you've got to measure what your pattern measures so I have measured what it is, I find the half, so I'm going to use this as a center front, okay, like that. And then I'm going to square the line down like this, touching that point, and then I'm going to add my quarter of an inch at that point to join, for joining. So this is now my front, okay, that's the front of my collar. And I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to put my grain line on because this collar is cut on the bias because I want it to have a nice roll over the front. So we cut on there and that's the front section of the collar. So it looks like that and this is your notch for the centre front. So when it's finished it rolls over like this, like that. So I'll get a nice roll at the front, like that, and it's got a back section. I've made it four, so it'll finish round about two, two inches or so. So if you want it wider, then you make it wider. So I then open that out, and I'm going to make sure that's cut on the bias. So I must put the bias cutting line on that pattern, so where it crosses here centre front so that is on the bias so the co this collar is going to cut on the bias so that is your front so you'll have a notch here so that will tell you that is the centre front so that is the front section and now we're going to do the back section we're going to fold another piece of paper again um, like that I'm going to fold that take that away because we don't need that much and I'm going to make it the same again I'm going to measure up here make sure I'm going to do it the line up there and I'm going to measure the back neck of our pattern which is that's the back neck so from there I'm going to measure whatever that is I want to make my collar Okay, so um, so you keep that in mind, whatever that is, that's what you're going to use, the measurement. So that's the back of the collar we're going to make now. So we've squared that up and we're going to measure out whatever that is. And we're going to square a line out as well for the back. And we're going to measure up the same amount that we use on the front for the front section okay so that is your front and 
we're going to keep it the same measurement here, whatever that is. We want that measurement on this section here. So I'm just going to use that as a guide. It's all it's got the seam allowance on, so we're going to mark that on. Um, a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Let's mark that on. And we're going to get the length, which is that's the length of the um, the sleeve. So we measure that and we're going to measure this whatever that is we're going to keep that the same and we just square the line across we just connect up those measurements like that like that like that because we've got the seam allowance on i'll just mark it on we've got centimeter here like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of that at the moment, we've got the same here as we got on the front here, but we don't want it as wide at the back, the, the back. So we're going to take off an inch. So at this point, I'm going to measure one inch off like this. Let's just take that off, which is down here. And then from this point here, without, without the seam allowance on, I'm going to shape that into that point here. So just give it a nice shape into there, like that. And then once I've got that, I'm going to extend that down as a point because I want it to be pointed like that, my collar at the back. So I'm going to, from that point there, I'm going to shape it down about... I say it depends on you. You can make it two inches, an inch and a half from that point here. So we shape it. We're going to keep it from that point there. Shape it with this, this, not with the seam allowance on, with the seam allowance off. So you see where I've taken it, not there. I've taken it down to this one. And we're getting that shape because this section here has to be the same as the front because they're going to be joined together. So if I shape that again slightly, because if you notice when we did the back neck, I did shape it in a little bit on the body. So I'm going to give that a nice shape into there and I'm bringing that. If that's too pointed, you can take it up a bit more if you don't want it to be so pointed. So once we've, we've arrived at that and we've decided we've done that design line on that what we want, we're just going to check that the front matches on there so we that's where we want to be so from there now what we do is we just add our seam allowance so we're going to come back to there a centimeter and it touches back to that line so we get a nice smooth line run in there and then all we do is just extend this line down here from that point a centimeter for it to be bagged out so that is the back collar and you mustn't forget that we need to put a, a balance mark there to match up which we had on the back here so that balance mark we have to make sure we got the same measurement from the shoulder or from the center back up and we've got to apply it onto our onto our um, onto our collar so i'll just transfer it off so it's into there we've got to notch that so from the shoulders if we take the seam off and we're going to make sure that that comes to there so that's where the notch is and that's where the collar is going to finish on there right so what we do now is we're going to cut out that shape so we've got a quarter of an inch on there because what we do is we're going to stitch that one to that one like that so we can also put a notch there so that we know that that's stitched to that one and we've got to make sure that it comes over onto that side as well so we're going to put a notch there notch there so it comes through on there so we've got those notches that when we um, fold them over they all match so we've got that notch here, which goes to there, and we've got that one there. So that is our collar piece that looks like that. 
So let me just cut that shape out so that you can see the back section. You notice that we have not made it as wide as the front because I want the collar to sit as flat as it can on the back. But I want some rolling at the front. So this is why we've done that. So you've got your notch there and you've got that notch there to line up for the back. So that is what your pattern piece like, but you've got to open out and put your grain line on because that's on the bias as well. We want that to be on the bias. So we cut it that way. We put the grain line that way and that way. So, you know, whichever way you lay in on your fabric, those pieces have to be on the bias. So that is your collar. We're going to have a join on the shoulders like that. We join them. And so uh, you can join it, stick it together and have just one piece if you want. But you have to make sure that you have this piece on this side as well. If you're going to join it, you've got to have that piece on that piece. Because this is why we say cut two of those. So that is just one side. And then you have to cut another piece like this and attach it to there. So you've got one strip of collar. But because we're going to, we want our collar that I'm doing this design to have a seam on the shoulder, on the shoulders. So we've joined it there, but you've got to remember to put your notches in so you connect them in the right position. So those are your collar piece. So they, they'll join together, they stitch on your collar and it goes over the back like that and it rolls over like that it gives you a nice roll because it's on the bias and this is what you get just a small little roll at the bottom the, the back of the back because we want it to we don't want a full roll in we just want it to be slightly and then you've got your pointed um ends of the collar at the back so this is what your collar piece looks like so you've got two of those one of those and you've got your back you've got your fronts center front center back i just want to bring the pieces up you've got your sleeve along there you've got your sleeves you're facing for the sleeve that goes up that way those are your pieces and then you've got your front neck facing which is that piece looks like that you've got your back neck facing which looks like that and then you've got your go day which looks like that and that completes your dress so that's the pattern pieces that you need for your dress there you go so you've got your back your go day your sleeves your facings your collars your front side fronts and your center back neck facing so those are the pattern pieces that you need to complete your dress and i hope you find that very informative and that that brings value to you and not only just bringing value but you're able to create something make it up i will post how the the collar is joined together at the the neckline when i post this video up so thank you for watching have a good day wherever you are whether it's morning or evening or afternoon be blessed stay safe and hope to see you or speak to you or do another lesson on how to make a wonderful pattern from the basic block. Thank you. Bye bye.